Dr. Mike Fay of the Nottingham Nanotechnology Lab Science Centre. And this is our focused iron beam and scanning electron microscope. So I'm going to pick one of the hairs that's sticking out. I'm going to stick it on a support grid. So this is the stub I'm going to mount the sample on. So it's a simple aluminium stub. And I'm going to stick the hair on using double-sided copper tape. The hair should be entirely the same apart from a very thin layer of carbon on the outside which is, although the hair is mostly carbon, this is a much more conductive form of carbon the way it's deposited so that will mean any charge buildup on the surface of the hair will be spread evenly. And if you look at the top of the stage you can see there that's where all the detectors and the beam, beams come in. So we have everything pointing at one point which is where the sample will be. Right, this one represents the electron beam. This one represents the ion beam, so because the ions also introduce a charge, so you get electrons coming out of a sample when you fire ions in, you can also use that to image as well as pattern. And this is an infrared camera, so we can see where the sample is in the chamber. So when we first load it, it's looking straight up at the electron beam. So this is the electron beam column there. And the iron beam column is actually behind that one there. So there's a column there, and we want that point facing straight down onto the sample. So that is a scale bar. So that bar features on that bar that, that are the same, so that same size as that bar are only 10 microns across. So the whole image is less than 50 microns across. So that's micrometers. So if it was a thousand times bigger, it would still only be 50 millimeters across. Took a few yep. more attempts than uh, a few more tests before we got a good legible pattern, but uh, I think that's it.